Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tebow Gaming here, and today I am bringing you my first new episode of Terraria. I felt my last series wasn't going anywhere. Um, I don't think you guys liked it. I didn't like it. Um, I didn't do enough building. Uh, I didn't do enough mining. I didn't do enough anything. I didn't do enough boss fighting. So today... I'm bringing you the next series, which I hope you guys are going to enjoy a lot more than you did that series. Last series was just random stuff and not good. So, let's get into this. Um, we're changing my name and everything. I felt that I needed to make a new skin to make a new figure that marks Tebow. Um, I'm not an Arwal anymore. I'm now a Tebow. Um, I think I'm gonna do... I'll be... Blue. Yeah, no. I'll be... I'll be red. That looks good. Uh, my hair. I'm gonna have a mohawk. Yeah, let's do a mohawk. Now, what color the mohawk is a question. Nah, that does not look good at all. Um, orange. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do gray eyes. Shirt color. Uh, I'm gonna do a yellow shirt. I'm doing very bright colors. Very reddish colors so far. Uh, and with the very reddish colors theme, I guess I'll do pink. Um, pants. I guess I can do purple pants. Oh uh, yeah, that looks good. Now shoes. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do gray shoes, like my eyes. Yeah, that looks good. Name? Tebow. Yeah, Tebow a little low. I think that looks good. Create new world, expanded world. First world being made. Let's do... The world of just leave it there. Um, I don't know. I don't know my plans for this series quite yet. I want to defeat all the bosses, of course. I'll have challenges probably after that. Um, like see how many times I can kill the slime king in ten minutes or something like that. See how fast I can defeat a pirate invasion. There's a lot of challenges I can do. But, we're telling you guys all that stuff. I guess I should also tell you guys the basics. Uh, you can do whatever you want in this game. You can have any goal you want. You could defeat all the bosses. You could get to hard mode. You could get a full set of platinum armor. Uh, to get to hard mode, you have to go to the underworld and defeat the boss down there. I'm not going to get into that boss. Um... So, yeah, there's there's mining, so you have to get platinum, which is the rarest. Gold and platinum are the rarest. Um, yeah, there's infinite amount of amounts of goals you can have. It can be a, if you're new to the game and don't know what you're doing, you can get a full set of pumpkin armor, uh, just a beginning goal, something like that. Uh, I'll probably start doing goals every episode. Probably start with that next episode. I just want to get a bunch of wood today. Um, hearts up here. These five hearts up there. Uh, all count as 20 health. So you start out with 100 health. Um, you can get 500. You can get 20 hearts. And then turn them golden with a life uh, fruit. It's just a golden item. That you find underground, like the life crystals, which give you an additional heart. There are potions and brewing. There's money. There's copper coins. Um, copper coins, which 100 copper coins will get you a silver coin. 100 silver coins will get you a gold coin. 100 gold coins will get you a platinum coin. And that's it. There are NPCs. There is... Let's see what all there are there. 
There's a merchant. There's a traveling merchant. Uh, there's a, a demolition expert. I think it's an expert. The, or a seller. There's an arms dealer. There is... What else? A uh, Quite a few other. There's a nurse. There's a dye trader. There's, um... I don't think I can remember everything, but... Those are just some of the first ones you're going to get. Uh, there's this guy over here. He's your, um, guide. Not terribly useful, but if you're a beginner, kind of tells you what to do. I am here to give you advice on what to do next. It's recommended you talk to me anytime you get stuck. October Festival is here. If you want to survive, you need to create weapons and shelter. Stop by ch chopping down trees. You can b build shelter, all that stuff. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to really mess with him. I'll make houses and everything, but... I really just want the NPCs that sell stuff. Um, there's mana, that little blue crystal by the pause button in health. It's called mana. There's magic. There's books that you can use. There's like uh, staffs that you can use. There's different items that require magic that you can use. So there's full, it's full of weapons. You can do like a melee weapon. You can do a summoner, which is... There are different like pets. Some don't do damage, some do. And you can summon them. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, for the uh, to, uh, do a summoner, but it takes a while to get your first staff to get. Uh, quite a while. Unless you're really lucky and you're good at slime staff from a slime, it has one in ten thousand chance of dropping. So it's extremely rare. But I think I've gotten two. And I've been playing this game for about three years. Eh, maybe not three years, about two years. So I've only gotten two. Um, what else? There's guns. Like I've already said, the arms dealer. There's explosives. There's a lot of different stuff. There's caving. There's dungeons. There's bosses. I guess I'll uh, explain the first three bosses that we'll be facing. First three that we'll probably be facing. As you guys can see, I uh, ent just entered a purple biome. This is the Corruption. It has a boss it's called the Eater of Worlds. It's a huge worm. has a bunch of different health bars. Uh, if you cut it, you can cut it in half and it separates in a bunch. Uh, the heads do the most damage, I believe. And they come at you. Um, if you have enough hearts, it's a pretty easy fight. It doesn't really so much matter about damage as it does hearts. Um, it's a pretty fun fight. Then there's the Eye of Cthulhu. It's just a huge eye, and it has a couple minions that will come and attack you. They're, it's just a bunch of servants of Cthulhu. That's what they're called. They're little eyes. Uh, it will randomly summon. will randomly come. It's a 1 in 3 chance of coming. When you have over 10 health, 3 or more NPCs, and 200 health. So you have to have 10 hearts. Uh, or you can kill demon eyes, which come out during the night. And, uh, uh, sometimes drop lenses, which you go to a altar, which you guys will see later. And you can create a suspicious-looking eye that will, uh, yeah, I'll you to summon it at night, which is 7.30. Uh, if you don't kill it by the time the night is up, then it will disappear. Uh, if you die while fighting it, it will disappear. Um... There's also the Slime King. It's a huge slime with like a ninja in it. You don't have to fight the ninja. It drops some ninja clothes usually. Which are pretty good. They offer four, 3, 4, and 3 defense. Uh, chest piece being 4 and all the rest being 3. Um, it summons a bunch of slimes that will attack you. Uh, there's diff how many types of metals? There's copper and tin, which are like the same, and your world either will generate copper or tin. They're the same, pretty much. Uh, your world will either generate lead or iron, silver or tungsten, and or uh, platinum or gold. My preference for the worlds is having uh, copper, uh, lead, and uh Tungsten and Platinum. That's the way I prefer it, but you can't choose, I do not believe. So, that kind of stinks. 
Um, let's see. Let's go down caving, I guess. Hold to holding torches will light it up, which is e really useful. Um, there are quite a few different potions. There's healing potion, there's mana regeneration potions. Uh, I won't get into the po all the potions just yet. There is accessories. Uh, these give you boosts, I guess, like extra jumping, um, faster walking, you can walk on water, flying, quite a few things. You, there's dye, you can dye your clothing, which by clothing it's your bandy items, which are costumes, and your equipment is going to be your uh, armor. You can enchant it, but that's it comes enchanted or you can enchant it later. With a goblin tinkerer, who I'm not going to get into. Um, oh yeah. Uh, to summon the Eater of the Worlds, you have to uh, break three orbs, which you find in the Corruption Underground. Uh, you break them with bombs in the beginning. Uh, it's pretty fun to break them with bombs. You usually need demolition to get enough bombs to break them all. Uh, you get the different NPCs by having that stuff in your inventory, and you find them in chests, usually. Uh, random generally- oh, I thought I was gonna die. Randomly generated chests throughout the world, usually. As you guys can see, I have found my first heart crystal. I've already explained this. Just take it, and boom. Um. Bro. Oh. Uh. Oops. You, uh, from uh, Eater of Worlds, you will drop Demonite. I think it's called Demonite. And it will basically, uh, it'll allow you to, it makes, makes you get better weapons, armor, and stuff like that. So it's pretty useful. I like it. I prefer Demonite over, um, Crimson Knight, I think. I'm not going to get into Crimson Knight. It's a harder boss to get Crimson Knight. It's just as good, except the sword is better in Crimson Knight, but I still don't like it, because I usually don't use swords a bunch. So. Oh, what else is there? That's a lot of it. I guess there's jewels. There's amethyst. Topaz. Sapphire, emeralds, and rubies. Rubies are and, and diamonds. Rubies and diamonds are the rarest. Then emeralds and sapphires, and then it's topaz and uh, amethyst. They make uh, magical weapons. They make a staff. They make a hook, which makes you allow to like hold on to things from a distance. Uh, that's pretty much all they do. I guess you can make, um, you can set up, like, capture the flag with them. You can make big jewels out of 15 jewels, and, uh, if you have another person playing with you, they'll drop them on death. And, uh, if you get both, like, you get both of them, take it back to your place, and, uh, you win. Something like that. Um, I've never, I've done it once. You can equip yourself, oh, that hurt a lot. Uh, there are traps. There is rot wiring and stuff. I don't know why that didn't kill me. It should have killed me. It usually kills people. Um, there are traps. There's You get it from a mechanic who you find in underground. You have to unchain her, which you just tap her and she gets free. Um, build a house, and she comes to you. You can buy a wire, wire cutters, pressure plates, and dart traps, I think. I don't know if you can buy dart traps, actually. I, um, that's a lot of it. There's armor, of course. But, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you guys next time.